Good morning. It is so, so early. Um, it's probably about 4.30. Actually, no, I woke up at 4.30. That's a lie. It's probably about 4.50 right now. No, normally I don't get up that early, but the reason why I got up that early is because of the title of the video. I'm moving back to New York City today. So my winter break has been so long. Today's like the 21st, I think, and I started winter break like the 16th of January and I still have another week of winter break once I get back to the city so goodbye Colorado hello New York I'm like ready to go back like it was nice having a break like I'm just getting so bored over break because all of my friends at home like went back to school like the first week of January so I was just here by all by my lonesome I mean, because of like covid you can do like less stuff during winter break so i got a little bit bored and a little bit restless so now i'm ready to go back although i'm not really looking forward to how cold it's gonna be there but that's okay i'll just layer up but i'm really excited for my classes this semester because i'm taking if you didn't know i'm majoring in fashion business but a lot of my classes last semester were more on the businessy side, which I do like, but this semester they're a lot more on like the design side, which I think will be really cool. The reason why I decided to like take the early flight instead of like a normal flight is because I want to get to the mail room today because a lot of people come in tomorrow. That means the mail room will be incredibly crowded tomorrow. A little bit of context. So when everyone moves in all at once, the lines get so long to check in and pick up packages and I didn't want to wait in line for two hours because I've already made that mistake before. I probably got three hours of sleep last night too. I went to bed at like one o'clock and it took me such a long time to fall asleep. So we were running on very little sleep. Hopefully I can just sleep on the plane, although I'm not the best at falling asleep on the plane, but... Okay, makeup is done. I literally did the bare minimum, but I just like to put a little bit on just so I feel a little more put together. Anyway, let's put on my jacket. This isn't really a jacket, it's more of like, no, it is a jacket. It's purple, it's from Zara. I definitely impulsively bought it, but that's okay. I wear it all the time. I'm wearing three layers because it is supposed to be like 20 something in New York. So we have my Taylor Swift Cowboy Like Me sweatshirt. I'm wearing just a brown t-shirt under this, obviously the jacket. And then my favorite Aritzia Butter leggings, just in black. These are literally my favorite leggings of all time. They're so comfortable. They're probably not the best for like high impact working out, but just for like every day, they're so comfortable. They stay on your waist. They're very like form fitting and flattering. I love everything about them. This is my carry on bag, the Marc Jacobs tote bag. It is going to be so heavy because I have like a couple of books in here. I have like my camera stuff. I have to put my laptop in here. Like stuff that I don't want to lose in my my checked luggage. My right shoulder might fall off by the end of today, but it's fine. I bought this bag for myself for Christmas and it's so far like my favorite thing. I'm gonna use it for school and stuff too. Very excited about that. Is this even gonna zip closed? Literally look how full this is. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of COVID tests in here that my mom is sending me back to New York with. Barely. It barely closes, but it closes. Maybe I should have brought a backpack. Oh well, too late. Let's go to the airport. See you later, childhood bedroom. Okay, I just checked my bags and they were both overweight, so that's fun. Time to go to security. I got tables so far away from everyone because this is a big airport and I don't want to get COVID. My arms hurt so much, I should not have put so much stuff in that tote bag. I think that thing is probably like 20 pounds at least, the tote bag. Anyway, I got a small iced coffee, not too much caffeine, but just enough to get me by. Water, because hydration, and then more food, banana walnut bread. I had half of a bagel and cream cheese earlier this morning, but I know I'm going to get hungry. My flight doesn't go out for like another hour, so I have a little bit of time to respond to emails and or try not to fall asleep. That's so good. Yay, we're 
back. Home sweet home. I'm getting a new roommate this semester and she doesn't move in for a little bit so I have the place to myself for a couple of days which is very nice. Let me take my earbuds out. Kind of forgot they were in. It's like I didn't get any sleep on the plane. I thought I would be able to sleep on the plane because I got no sleep last night but nope I did not. But now there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. I need to clean the floor because the floor is not looking great. I need to clean the kitchen. I need to clean the bathroom and I also need to get groceries because I have like some popcorn and a box of mac and cheese and I think I might need a little bit more than that and now I need to go pick up my packages which is definitely going to take multiple trips. Oh I also need to eat lunch too. I haven't done that either. <laughs> packages are all picked up. I'll unbox them after I get some food. I have like a small amount of Trader Joe's fried rice left so we're just going to have this and then go pick up some food out. Also I love how the Halloween decorations are still up. Definitely need to probably take care of that. Cook on high for two minutes. Oh feels good to be alone even though I'm like talking to you but you know there's no people in this physical presence which is nice. It is so hot in here but it's like 20 degrees outside so. Okay this is nothing there's like three spoonfuls of this like literally nothing okay. Well guess I'm gonna have to get more food very quickly. So I was taking the thumbnail for this video and I realized I look like I just cried a ton and I didn't yet. <laughs> I didn't but my mascara is everywhere and I'm too tired to fix it. I can't go to bed at 3 30 p.m. I don't even think it's 3 30. It's like 3 o'clock. I can't go to bed at 3 p.m. Let's open my packages except I kind of don't want to do that yet. This is me being indecisive. See the thing is I can make big decisions so quickly like important life-changing decisions can make in five seconds but like where to get food where to like go out shopping whatever like literally when to leave the house it takes me like 20 minutes to decide. Okay let's get unboxing these packages. I'm like this is not a very comfortable position. The reason why I have so many packages, because some of them I ordered like a week ago to arrive for when I got here, and then some of them I left earlier than I expected to for winter break when New York got really bad with Omicron. So I had a lot of packages that came like a month and a half ago that I didn't pick up because I left early. More books, I love books. Ooh, they sent me a coupon. A Geico coupon. That's kind of fun. Am I gonna use that? Probably not. Ooh, there's another coupon. A wine voucher. So the first book, this was 50% off. The last thing he told me, it's really popular. It's like a thriller. I saw it actually, I've seen it a lot just in Barnes & Noble when I go to Barnes & Noble, but Ava Jules recommended it and I think her book recommendations are awesome. So I got this. Maybe I'll read this tonight if I don't fall asleep at 5 p.m. And then I got My Body by Emily Reddick. Jikowski, I cannot say her name. I'm so sorry if I messed this up. This is just an essay book, a feminist essay book, which I've heard is really good. I've seen this all over TikTok. And then I also got Attached in the Science of Adult Attachment. I also see this all over TikTok. And I love social psychology books and relationship books. The next package is from Retro and Groovy. I love this store. It's this vintage online shop. I've ordered for them so many times. I love it. Oh, it came with some gumballs. The first thing I ordered is this off the shoulder brown top. This is so cute. Like normally off the shoulder stuff kind of bothers me, but this I like, I'll put a picture of how it was listed on the website right here. It's so cute and I love chocolate brown everything. Oh, they sent me a scrunchie too, a red scrunchie. And then the other thing I got is this cropped sweater. This, I love primary colors. I love this blue color and I love the shiny red. I thought this was just so cute. Can't wait to wear this. I will be wearing this all the time. Follow me on Instagram to see how I style that stuff. Next package is from Princess Polly. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of recycling. So excited for these. I already know what these are. They're the Bellini white cowboy boots. You've probably seen these all over, but I am so excited about these. These boots, so cute. I can't. Like, that is the cutest thing ever. Ugh. I just pulled my hamstring. Look how cute that is. So cute. Oh my gosh, it fits so well. Am I gonna wear these with these leggings? No, but they're so cute. And I'm wearing my Cowboy Like Me sweatshirt. Perfect. And then I also ordered, ooh, this is bright. Wait, how does this work? This red like cowl neck shirt definitely needs to be ironed, but this, I, I love this. I love red. And then I ordered this brown sort of flowy dress. This is so pretty. I love the ruffles up here. I will be wearing this soon. Finally, we have the Target box. This one's probably like the most boring box because there's like nothing interesting in there. First thing, a trash can with a foot thing. How exciting. No, I needed a kitchen trash can. Windex, dish soap, and a steamer. 
because I hate ironing things and the steamers work so much better. Oh, this is my soap dispenser. It's so pretty. Look at the soap dispenser. I got this for the bathroom. So pretty. I can't wait to use this. We'll go fill it up in a second, but now I think I'm going to take a nap because I need it badly okay so i didn't film an outro again because i took a nap and then boys were annoying me so much that i just didn't film again it's fine everything is fine but anyway now it's about a week later i start school tomorrow which is the 31st of january which is so late and that's kind of annoying because then our semester is going to go till like the last week of may i think i'll vlog tomorrow too so stay tuned for the first day of school and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching comment anything you want down below subscribe to my channel I'll turn the notification bell on follow me on instagram and on tiktok where i post daily like way more than daily i post like every two hours <laughs> but yeah thanks again for watching see you next time bye